What's up guys, it's your coach, friend and mentor, Scotty. I just got done with my nine week control freak, week three, total body tone, uh, last workout of the week. Three weeks is done, and what I want you to think about if you're doing like a program like 21 Day Fix, that would be complete. So I'm gonna celebrate that progress. I don't know how many inches I've lost, I don't know how much weight I've lost, but I feel so sore and challenged, and I do see a little bit of uh, a weight coming off around my, uh, in my stomach area. So I'm excited to show some progress pictures. I'll do those when I get home, so I'm on, in the same uh, clothing, in the same lighting position, but I'm loving this workout. They're super fast, they're super efficient, they're burning me out. And Autumn really talked about something that was really important for me. Like, I'm gonna be turning 40 uh, this year, and I'm not so much into lifting heavy, heavy weights until my tendons and everything just aches and hurts. I wanna lift weights in a way that challenges me, but that I can stay injury free and just continue to feel strong and build that lean muscle. So that's where I'm at in my transformation and I'm excited to be here with you guys. Now I wanna share something with you that's pretty cool. We had a, every Thursday, we do a mastermind with our diamond coach leaders on our team and above. And we were talking about uh, what can we do better this year? Like last year we hit elite as a team. Now we want to help all of these leaders hit elite with their teams and, and grow and mentor new leaders and, and find new leaders for our team. And we we're talking about all of the strategies that we can do. We have great, some of our, our coaches are incredible at marketing plans and um, doing different free types of groups to add value on all these things. But what we really wrapped around to is that if we want to grow, if I want to grow as a leader, they want to grow as a leader, we have to continually really put the focus on our own personal growth, grow our skills, grow our uh, personal development, grow our belief, grow our everything that has to do with our personal development. So we're putting heavy emphasis on personal development. I saw a really cool thing start to happen. I committed to that and I started talking to my wife and my five kids about that. And my youngest kids, uh, not the youngest, he's five, but he's trying to involve himself in this. But my, my kids that are nine and eight, they totally took up the challenge. We offered to pay them, and we've been doing this before, but they've been really slow at hitting these goals, uh, where we'll pay them to read a personal development uh, book because they have to do the chores in the house. They have to do the dishes. They have to clean up every night before bed. They have to do their own laundry. They have to fold their laundry. They have to sweep, mop, vacuum, all of that stuff. They do that because they're a part of the family and that's part of their responsibility living in our home. But we've told them that if they read personal development books, we'll pay them and we'll give the amount depending on the size of the book. For example, uh, my 11 year old is reading this book, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul. And this book will be, for example, worth $20. The cool thing that was incredible is my eight year old son earned $65 in the last three days. Like he, st he completely stopped playing with his Legos uh, he's not asking to watch shows, and he read the book by Joel Osteen, You Can, You Will. He read the book Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty, and now he's reading um, a book by John C. Maxwell, I believe is what it is. Oh, and The Four Agreements, he read that, it's a little bit smaller. But we apply a dollar amount to the book. I think, oh, we put it right here, just to give you guys some ideas. $20, so we give them that goal, and it was really awesome to just see how my kids were so motivated uh, by the goal. Obviously they want to earn uh, some extra money and they're reading books and they understand that that's a way that they can do that. And the cool thing that I want to share about that is it'll be cool to see who does it over the long time because it's easy and I want you guys to think about this in your coaching journey. If you're a coach on our team or you're thinking about becoming a coach, it's easy to say like, oh, I'm going to earn that, that money. I'm going to, I'm going to do, build this thing and read one or two books for a week or for two weeks and, and get that $20, get that $40 for the two books, and then fall off of that goal or that dream and get complacent again and go back to the old habits of whatever it might be, playing video games, uh, binge watching a Netflix series or Hulu series. So it'll be really interesting to see who stays committed to the long term uh, with the reading goal and, and stays on track with that and continues to earn that money and let that compound. And I was talking with my eight year old son as we were driving to Salt Lake City yesterday, I was like, what do you, what do you want to use your money for? What are you, what are you reading these books for? Because they, on the three-hour drive, they were reading their books as well. And he said, "I'm going to save." My, oh, my daughter, my my nine-year-old daughter said, "I'm going to save my money so when I'm older, I can buy a car, and I need to save money for for gas as well, so I have gas for that car." So, if you're working on your health and fitness goals uh, or building your business, is what I want to say, and you have this goal of earning whatever it is, 
Make sure that you stay focused on the long-term goal. That for my daughter would be being able to purchase a car in six years when she can drive and be able to uh, put gas in that car. Now for you, it might be be able to take your family to Disney World for the first time. It might be take your spouse on a surprise trip to Maui or whatever it might be. Keep that goal focused uh, in your mind and, and stay in that burning desire of I'm going to achieve this. And that's what's gonna give you the energy and the excitement and the passion to wake up and do the activities every day to be a successful coach. Or for my kids to wake up every day with a goal to work on reading their books for that end goal. Hope that helps you guys out. Have an incredible rest of the day and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.